Today is Sunday, the 1st of October. So happy Halla month. Spooky month. Spook month. And in celebration of it, Serena is cleaning seashells. I don't know how that relates necessarily, but it's <laughs> what's happening on this beautiful morning. Um, Serena actually has been collecting shells and cleaning them and processing them since we moved here. Yeah. Maybe even far longer than that, but really in earnest since we moved here, she's kind of taken over her whole office and made it a shell processing station. Especially the bathroom. So what exactly are you doing right now? Um, I'm currently scrubbing a cockle. There's a lot of stuff that gets stuck to them, a lot of sand, like kind of turns into like cement almost on part of it. And then there's also like barnacles that get stuck to the outside. I wish you'd videotaped before I cleaned that one all the way off. <laughs> but you get like you're getting the big stuff off of these ones. Yeah. That's the point. Okay. All the big stuff. And then after I wash them and scrub them, well, before actually I scrub them, they go into a bleach bath, a bleach water. And that's what mixture. those are coming out of essentially. Yes. Like it's drained, but that's what that was. Yes. The, the soaking. Bleach water, because it helps break down all of that stuff. Because obviously, once the sand turns into like a cement. It's really hard to get off, but if it's softened with bleach water, then it comes off really, really easy. And that's cool. Boom shakalaka. Less effort for me when cleaning. Yeah. We're and smarter, not harder. Yeah. And then after I clean them all off, they get to go into the bathtub to dry. Wow. Oh, wow. There's even more going on here than I thought. There's some pretty ones. So there's all different types. I know that those ones are olives. Uh, yeah, all the way those to are, the right. those are coral. There's some coral pieces. And then I'm like, I don't know. There's some whelks, there's some clamshells, there's some um, lots of broken conchs. The magic conch shell. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> this bucket over here, you can kind of see a little better what some of the shells look like before I take them out. Is this the solution for soaking as well? Yeah, this is also bleach. Like, these are the barnacles. Gotcha. So, so these can kind of, like, just rub them off once they've been soaked in bleach. It gets all the algae and stuff off of them as well. Gotcha. And then you've got a whole other thing out here, too. Yeah. And after they dry in the bathtub... They get to be mineral oiled. Mineral oiled. Yeah. And that makes them look all pretty. Yeah. Very cool. Turn the light on here for a second. Honestly, I think I think the natural light is good. Okay. They're very pretty. Thank you. You do a great job. And I'm about to start going back all of the stuff on my bottom shelf over here. Mm-hmm. None of that has been oiled. It's been cleaned, but not oiled? Yes. Gotcha. They've all been cleaned, but I didn't have mineral oil until just recently. So. Well, cool. I yeah. think that's awesome. You should really, like, I don't even know how. <laughs> But people need to appreciate you for this because this is a lot of work. <laughs> I don't know if you like open up an online store and sell these. I don't know if you'd even want to because they're your treasures. They are treasures. Yeah. It's like my little pieces of gold well, it's that I funny. find on the ocean. Well, because the it, ocean. no matter where you are, like I remember in Animal Crossing, you collected a whole bunch of shells too. Yeah. Granted, you did make like rugs and stuff out of those. But yeah. still, you are a, a shell queen. I like seashells. Seashells that are empty. We don't live shell. We don't live shell. No. Not that if we can help it, of course. Uh, it's funny she says that because there have been times where we come home with a shell and she's like, oh no, there's someone in here. And she has to yeah. go back to the ocean. I did have <laughs> a hermit crab friend and yeah. I had to go take him back in a nice little cup and just kind of like, boop. But they survive. I mean, that's that's the point. Yeah. I know that maybe not everyone would do that. So high five on you for being a good I person. Don't... I like to only take shells that have nobody in it. I, I mean, wouldn't want somebody to kill me for my shell, so. If someone was collecting houses <laughs> and they grabbed ours, and yeah, it would be pretty bad. Kept us in it without any food <laughs> or water. Yeah, it'd be sad. It would be very sad. It'd be awful. But 
Yeah. Today will be the opposite of that because we are largely going to be doing this fun little side projects and hanging out. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed yourself and I hope that you have a great weekend, had a great weekend, and a great start to your month. And I'll see you tomorrow.